Yo, what's going on YouTube and welcome back to another Destiny video. Now today's video is going to be all about farming spin metal. Now yes, I know I appreciate that probably everybody under the sun knows this farming route, but I have done farming videos for Relic Iron, Helium Filaments and Spirit Bloom, so I figured it's only fitting that I complete the set by doing a farming video for spin metal. So, if you don't know about this route, then let me show you. First up, as always, you're going to want to jump over. Spin metal is found on Earth, so jump over here. Now, in actual fact, the easiest way to do this is actually to go get a group together and go to Devil's Lair, simply because it starts you in the right location. But I'm going to jump over to the patrol mission, just so that I can show you how to get there if you do decide to do it outside of a strike. Because I appreciate if you're doing this on your own and you haven't got someone to go with a strike, then obviously if you select that and you go in, it will party you up with people, and obviously you then feel kind of pressured to have to sort of go on and help them out. So, let me show you how you get there first. So from Earth, when you start off here, you then swing to the right and you go this way. Now pay attention to the route I'm going, and I'll speed it up a little bit again so you can kind of sort of see where to go without having to kind of see it in the sort of actual duration. But while I'm going, I'm going to talk a little bit as well. So the thing to know about this run is it's kind of shares similarities with the Relic run and the Spirit Bloom one in that they're all short runs. These ones, you won't... So the, Hel the Helium Filament run that I did, I put together... Uh, was a slightly longer run but you know the uh, the kind of gain the amount of materials that you gathered was that much higher than the other runs whereas this one being a short run typically on each circuit you know you'll get anywhere between sort of you know four to eight spin metal but you know you can complete this run in say a minute two minutes depending on how efficient you get so bear in mind that while the you know the gain of materials per run is quite low the time invested versus the gain of materials is actually quite high so this is a generally generally very lucrative run so we are here in the rocket yard, and as I said, this is why I recommended starting with the strike mission, because this is actually, in fact, over here is where you spawn for the strike mission. But either way, you can get over here relatively quickly as well. So this is where we begin. So this is a combination between a chest run and also some sort of like plants that you can kind of sort of see. I was about to call them nodes or whatnot, but either way, some of the sort of like spin metal plants will also be around here. But primarily, this is a chest run. So begin with here. You can check in here. Sometimes there will be a chest that spawns there. Very rarely, it will spawn instead of in there, it will spawn up here as well. But... You then hug the wall and you follow it all the way around here. Again, as with all of these runs, chests are normally found inside buildings or something that kind of equates to a cave. But then go around here. This is the location of your next chest. Again, as I said in my previous videos, normally the first time you do this run, you'll find that your, you know, the chest won't be there that often because once you kind of like load into the area, then I believe they start to spawn from there on. But either way, this will be where you'll find your second chest inside this area here. If it's a little bit dark on your screen, then you can always throw something in or bring your ghost up just to kind of sort of see inside. But either way, that's another location. Always like sort of check to the side when you're going down here because you'll see little sort of spin metal plants from time to time, uh, but there aren't any there at the moment. Then you want to run over here and firstly jump up on here, spin around and check behind you in there. That is where another one will spawn. Then while you're here, jump up here, jump onto this carriage and jump up on here and look down both sides. You can get a chest that sometimes spawns up here. And once you've finished up here, you then run down here and go along this way. Ignore the enemies, they're only low level. Uh, then what you want to do is look over here. Uh, you can actually see it from here anyway. But if you look up in the corner, you will find a chest that sometimes spawns up there. Alternatively, if you jump over this, you'll find that sometimes one spawns down there. So, run into this room. Whoop, you can actually see the door. And you can find it there. Bear in mind, when you're in these rooms, the chest can spawn in a few different locations. Sometimes they'll be in one of these two corners. Occasionally they'll be up on the top there. And also sometimes they're actually behind the bench, sort of wedged in there. So do check in, go right to the back because... There was a couple of times before I've missed a chest by sort of, you know, not actually going the whole way in the room. And then you continue to work your way around. Again, check out sort of like sometimes there there's a little plant. Um, but, you know, ignoring that for now. Again, check inside here as well. Sometimes, I've only seen it once, but there was one that spawned there once. Then follow around here. Ignoring whatever's over there. And then we run into this room. This one doesn't spawn quite so often, but having said that... Oh, well, <laughs> I was going to say it doesn't spawn very often, and here it is. Uh, you know, I don't find this one spawns as often on my runs, but either way, this is where you'll find the next one. And then you can kind of come back out of this room. Go around over here, there's another doorway. Jump into this. Again, same principle, run in, slide in. The slide is optional, but I feel it adds the kind of dramatic effect. <laughs> and then run around here. Jumping out here. Again, checking over there, sometimes a little plant spawns. But you then look down here, this gap here, and you will sometimes find a chest there. But there isn't one there right now. Here's your next room. Again, here is another chest. This one you'll no doubt see quite often if you're running the strike. You often see it when you're coming over from there. And you kind of just sort of see it staring in the face. Then run around here between this train. And check around the back. And sometimes you will find one down this side. This is normally the kind of like... It was not normally a silver chest down here. It's normally the sort of like brownie 
one with the sort of cables on it so it's a little bit easier to miss because it tends to blend in with the darkness over here so do check it out look from the side because especially if your chest is facing the side you won't always see the green lights but anyway moving on when you work your way around to this room over here again optional slide check there to make sure it's not wedged in check both corners come back out as soon as you leave here there is often one that spawns right oh there we go here it is right there then we jump up here there is another plant so again keep your eye out for these this is what a spin metal plant looks like then you go into this doorway again slide check spin there we go there's one up there then we come out of here jump straight over here check this area normally if you're really lucky you'll find that there's a chest there and a plant just there so you can get three spirit boom from that or more if the chest is uh, being kind to you then you jump up this way come back over here and we're almost complete lastly you go down here ignoring this guy or stab him in the face whatever you want to do plant over there so we'll pick this one up do, 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 do. then you go into this side here's your next room again slide check spin nothing there then we head over to this room so this is quite good Normally the chest will either spawn on the roof up here, which is this time around. Alternatively, if it's not there, then check inside the room and it'll be down there. Then you then go over here, run up this hill, and voila, we are back where we started. Oh, there we go. There's another plant. So it's quite a good little circuit. And that is your circuit complete. Now, as with all the other videos, I'm now going to do a sort of like speed run, so just so you can kind of sort of see how I'd actually do it as a normal run. Uh, and then I'm going to speed this up just a little bit again, just so you don't have to sort of see it in super slow-mo. But this will be the kind of conventional run, and then I'll pick up with you in just a second. And there you have it, that is the run complete. So as you can see the second time around when I'm obviously not standing around sort of showing you where things are, then you can see it can be done extremely fast. So again, while I didn't gather that many chests that time around, in fact the first run when I was sort of showing you I got more chests than the second run, but either way you can see that it's an extremely quick run to, to do. Not only are you getting glimmer but you're also getting materials from it at the same time. And just in general, you can sort of, you know, in a relatively short space of time, gather the spin metal you need. Like, for example, this morning, I needed some spin metal to level up my uh, my boots, and I needed 48 spin metal, and in about, say, 15, 20 minutes, something like that, I had all the spin metal I needed. So you don't have to spend a long time gathering what you need. So, there you have it. That is the kind of farming set complete for all the different materials. I've now shown you how to get all the four different materials. Relic iron, helium filaments... Uh, spirit bloom and spin metal i'm also going to put together a video shortly showing you how to gather ascendant shards so do check that one out and also if there are any other materials you need to gather and you haven't seen them then make sure you go back and check out the other videos as well but other than that that is it so if you did enjoy this video don't forget to give it a thumbs up hit the like button and show your support it does really help me out and obviously don't forget to subscribe for daily gaming videos drop a comment down below let me know what you think of this farming run if you already use it or alternatively if you've got a different run either way we could kind of hit kind of sort of here and sort of find out what you guys do and other than that, as always, thanks for watching. Take it easy. Catch you next time. Peace out.